Bonjour class. So today we're going to start uh, the school year reviewing with the present tense of our verbs. Um, this is going to be for level three. So here's the present tense. The most common um, category that we have are ER verbs, the regular ER verbs. It's the biggest category. So every time we do a conjugation, we are going to break down our chart into two columns. So in the first column, you're going to have these pronouns. So you have je, tu, il, elle, and on. This is considered the singular column. And then in your second column, you're going to have nous, vous, il, elle. So this is going to be a plural, okay? First column, your endings are going to be E, E, S, E, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T, okay? So let's take our first verb. For example, we'll take the verb parler. So parler, we know, means to speak, okay? And using it in the present tense. So again, here are my pronouns. Okay, because it's an ER verb category, you're going to remove the ER. You're going to put your root and your root is going to say the same every single time. That's why they consider it regular. Okay, whoops. And then you're going to tack on your ending, E, E, S, E, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T, okay? As far as pronunciation goes, the E, the E, S, and the E, N, T all have the same sound, okay? So, je parle, tu parles, Il parle, elle parle, on parle, il parle, elle parle. Okay, you don't hear your endings, you don't hear your S over here, you don't hear your ENT. And then nous parlons, vous parlez. Okay, all right, so as we said, this is the biggest category in the French language. Um, so a couple of other verbs that you should remember that are going to go here. You're going to have, for example, so let's list some examples. <clears throat> You're going to have aimé, which means to like or to love. Arrivé, which means to arrive happen. Uh, you could have brosser, as in brosser les dents, to brush. Uh, you will have chanter, chanter, which means to sing. Chercher, which means to find, to look for, to look for really. Um, here's another one, danser, this is S-E-R, not C-E-R, okay, which also means to dance. Demander, to ask for. Um, donner, as in donation, okay, donner is to give. Uh, let's go to another column. Écoute. 
écouter la musique, to listen to. Um, here's one. Étudier, okay, which means to study. Now be careful over here because when you do your conjugation, you want to make sure that you are not forgetting your I. Okay, this is going to be your root. So your endings here will be I E, I E S, I E, I O N S. Okay. Um, I mean the list goes on, but um, another one that you don't want to forget your vowels. Okay, E R. So you're going to have J O U, E, J O U E S, J O J O U E. Okay, J O U O N S. Okay, a uh, couple of others. You might have marché, marché to walk, uh, monter, which is going to be to climb. Uh, parler, we have penser, penser is to think. Uh, let's have regarder, regarder, regarder la télé. So it's to watch or to look at something. Another one that you don't want to forget that extra vowel is going to be skier, to ski. Uh, and let's add in trouver, trouver, V-E-R, which is to find, okay? All right, so if you notice in here, um, there are three categories that I'm not going to include. Uh, we're going to treat them separately later on. That's going to be the G-E-R, the C-E-R, and the Y-E-R categories, okay? Some people include them with the E-R verbs. The endings are the same, all right? It's going to be E E S E. O N S E Z E N T, but the problem is because of these letters that come just before it, you're going to have a little bit, a little tweaking to do. So we'll look at that as a separate category. Okay, so that's it.